So I'm fortunate enough to have a uh, greenhouse with a full hydroponic setup, so I don't have to go too far for some of the items for the smoothie. I have some uh, blue Scottish kale. You can use any kale you want. And I grab a couple leaves of this, and I'll grab uh, some spinach. And back here I've got some really nice deep green, collard greens, just beautiful looking stuff. So I'll grab some of that, and I've already got this here, so we'll take this inside and go ahead and mix that up in the Vitamix. And I found some uh, mustard greens growing here, so we'll take a couple leaves of that. And we'll grab some broccoli here. Now this is way too much, but uh, we'll use maybe a third of this, so we'll, we'll grab some of that. So. And let's go inside. Here's just a short video. I've had multiple requests for my recipe for my smoothie. Um, there's no science to it really. It's whatever I have on hand. But uh, here's the consistent ingredients. Uh, first of all, I start with two and a half cups of water in this eight cup blender. This happens to be a Vitamix blender. Uh, this blender pulverizes everything, retains all the fiber, doesn't extract just the juice. So there's very little cleanup. So this is basically it. I uh, harvested all my greens. I've just got a, you know, a couple handfuls of greens in here. And I've got a whole apple chopped up. I've got about a cup of uh, frozen fruit. You know, strawberries, cantaloupe, pineapple. You can use just strawberries and so forth. I've got the broccoli. Just a handful of broccoli. I've got a little handful of almonds here. You can substitute for um, sunflower seeds. These are raw, organic. Two carrots, one banana. Uh, two stalks of celery. I throw in a mushroom. Can't really taste it, but I have extra mushrooms right now. And these disgusting looking things are, are California dates. I have three of them here. And um, they're fantastic for adding sweetness. And this is what they look like. Buy them in bulk. They last for months on the shelf. I also buy the almonds in bulk and uh, store them in half gallon mason jars. So that's it. I throw them all in the blender here and I start with the most fibrous ones first, like the carrots. I'll chuck those in there first so that the, uh, they're closer to the blades. And then I'll throw in the broccoli and probably the almonds. And you just proceed to go ahead and dump all this in there and we'll blend it up. Here it is all ready to go. It's filled up. Um, I'm going to blend this on the highest setting probably for three or four minutes to really break down, especially that the kale leaves. They tend to uh, they tend to uh, take a lot more processing. So here we go. It's all finished. Uh, blended together in a nice creamy consistency. I forgot to mention, when you're using the California dates, be sure to take the pits out because uh, I wouldn't eat those. They come out real easy. And here's what you get. Really nice, smooth, green stuff. And uh, this is what you need for weight loss. Who wants smoothie? All right, come get it. And here's how I store my extra juice. I just simply put it into a, a quart mason jar and uh, put it in the refrigerator. No processing, just pour it in there. It'll keep for two days in the fridge, no problem. Uh, you may notice it, it tends to thicken up in the refrigerator, so just add some water and stir it in to get back to that consistency you want. And I'm thinking you can even probably freeze this in the pint jars. I haven't tried it yet, but it's on my list of things to do. So there you have it. That's uh, how I make and store juice, and I'm still losing weight. And you will too if you drink enough of this stuff.